everybody. Uh, a little bit of unusual one, me being here on a Monday. So I totally expect there will be nobody here or very few people, so I'll be talking to myself. Um, but I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I'll explain if you're watching this on the replay, which I expect most of you probably will be. Um, the idea behind this was a few weeks ago in a stream, come on up Mia if you want to, no, nope, Mia's teasing us, a few weeks ago in a stream I mentioned I was planning on doing a video of Eatsy Rank versus Marmalade, a smackdown of both the tools in their free form. And I was just sitting down doing the research to this the other day when I realised something that, well if any of you have used Marmalade in its free form, you'll know what I'm saying, that possibly the a versus isn't possibly the best idea. <laughs> so we're just going to quickly do that and then I want to go over and do the Eatsy rank, just seeing what's different about it compared to last year when I had a look at this. Because they've made a lot of changes and it's a great tool. And I thought I could do this video um, record it all and sit and take all the time to edit out every sec every second of the screens loading up because it takes a wee while because there's a whole load of data there. Or I could do this as a live and while we're loading up different screens, if any of you're here, if any of you are here, I can chat to you all. Or more than likely. I can just awkwardly stare at the camera. So I'm trying to do this an Eatsy Tips video on a Monday as a live stream. So we'll see if this works. And like I say, with anything, when you're doing anything online, when you're working on your shop or anything, it's always a great idea to experiment doing different things. So today's an experiment. And if it flops terribly, I don't really expect many people to be here. So if it flops, then it flops. And who have we got? We've got Magdalena in already. Hello, Magdalena. Happy Monday. Great to see you. And River City Creative. So awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. I honestly thought I would be sitting talking to myself so this is a great start anyway. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, yeah so mainly for people on the replay but I'm Pam Duffy if you haven't been here before. I'm here to help you craft your career with creative marketing marketing and artistic inspiration and every Monday I make an Eatsy Tips video. I have a whole load of fantastic ones in the pipeline in the planning but just wanted to get out this Eatsy Tips versus Marmalade. So if you're into, oh what are the dogs doing? If you're into Eatsy and you're just looking for some great tools to use then we're just going to have a look and see how awesome these both are. So, I'm going to start off, like I say, I was planning to do a versus, and you'll see why it's not the best versus. I just wanted to look at the two tools in their free form to start with. At some point later on, I'll look at their paid form and see what you get. But let's have a look at the free form. So, initially, so straight away, here I am on Marmalade. This is, there's links in the comments, in the description below, and it's just marmalade.com. And this, this is one of the big players in the help for your Etsy shop if you need an SEO help. Um, so everyone's talked about this tool forever, but for, I've always been happier with other tools, so I've never got around to using it. So, I've had a little poke about a couple of times, but this is almost like a first look for me as well to see what this, this tool is like. Uh, but yeah, we're not going to be here very long. <laughs> like I say, this is just the free tool. So you sign up and connect your shop just like any of the other tools. Give it permission to have a look into your shop. And first thing, when I click on it, it heads straight from my listings. And what we can see to start with, it pulls pictures of all your listings from your shop, as we can totally see. But it's only got the top four that have anything on them, um, have any grades on them, which is really similar to the Etsy rank grading of your shops by the look of it. I'll have to compare and contrast to see if they're saying the same things, I'm not entirely sure. 
Um, but so you've just got the first four and then all the rest of your items in your shop it's telling you to upgrade to be able to see that and on the right hand side it's saying upgrade to be able to filter and sort so I'm going to be able to sort them at you know filter by the when they're going to expire and probably all sorts of things but I can't click on that so I can't tell you and also we have um number of listings that have missing tags uh, four or less tags in the title so it's given you a way to filter so that you can dive in if you need to if you want to work on say things that have need their tags worked on you could just click on that um, so it sounds like it will be pretty good we've also I can click here um, we can filter by active draft expired featured or inactive as well but basically it appears that I've only got four that I'm able to look at at a time so we'll click on one of these items needle felted now I completely need to work on this this item again that I can see a whole lot going on going on wrong here but as you know if you've been with me for a while it's a do as I say not as I do I have so many listings that I just work on one or two at a time to actually bring them up to speed of being better so yeah this isn't the best but it's just an idea for us to see and we can see marmalade is given as a b minus on this listing like i say this is very similar etsy rank gives us grades as well for what we're doing um it gives us the button to edit it on etsy as well which is great click on that takes you to your item you can edit it makes life so much quicker not to have to find items like this um SEO tip, upgrade to see quick tip for the most important changes you can make to improve this listing. So it's kind of cool, they're going to have tips at the side, but I don't know if they're any good because it's not telling us. And it's telling me I've got all 13 of the 13 tags we can have. Tags that are also in the title is 5 of 13. There's a limit to how many you can get in. I get a feeling where it's saying 5 of 13 it's possibly suggesting that I want that it wants me to have all of my tags in the title to really keyword stuff in the title and as we've already spoke about that isn't necessarily the best practice anymore uh, tells us how long ago it was renewed which is great info to know because as we know the renewals how recent it is really does affect your ranking as well Etsy keyword searches not letting us see anything here we've got to upgrade and Etsy keyword engagement um, so th this is hopefully something handy but we don't get to look at it so it's to find out if um, shoppers are searching for those keywords so that's an awesome thing to have but in the free tool we don't have it if I scroll down, telling us the number of photographs used in the listing, I've only got 4 out of 10. It's an old listing, I haven't updated to the 10 pictures yet. Um, and then we have uh, to see if you're using the right number of words, the right number of sentences. I didn't know there was a right number of sentences, I don't think there was. Um, <laughs> the grade level this is if you're targeting the right reading level good grief it corrects your grammar a uh, readability which is really good and to see if your sentiment is positive so that sounds all very interesting I assume it's some kind of bot trying to sort out the <laughs> marking our how our descriptions are for its its readability and stuff so that's interesting but again we don't get to see it and it lets us see what our tags are in the listing because we already know um, title strength is telling us, oh, it tells us if I hover over this um, measures how this listing is targeting each keyword so it's like your VIP in the Etsy rank um, basically is this optimized in my title and my description and my tags and so needle felted is my highest I like how it's grading them in order that's pretty cool um, we also have but they're not letting us until we upgrade uh, searches the number of times per month this tag is searched as a keyword for shoppers so that's really useful 
bit of information, engagement and results, is the number of results that Etsy returns. So that's your competition. So that's all good stuff, but it's not showing us much of that. So that's that's what we get when we go into my listings. You can click in the first four of your listings, but it doesn't really give you a whole lot more info than you already know. It gives you the option to edit it yourself, but mainly this just feels like an advert for you to pay the money to join them. So let's click on Storm and see what that is. So we have to upgrade to get anything on Storm. It says it generate an insane number of keyword suggestions and pick them that fit your listings. So it's pretty cool. It's like a keyword cloud. It gives you different ideas for keywords. Would be good to see it. Um, comparison. Again, comparing different keywords. So if you found good ones in the Storm, you can find out how good they are. Tracking, again, wants us to update. Um, Marmalade will automatically track up to four keywords on a daily basis. Again, this is something that Etsy Rank does for us as well. It's kind of handy because if you haven't already seen my, my crazy science video, I actually was physically tracking all the results myself. By, by that I mean every time I was making a change, for several hours every five minutes or so I was having a search to find out where I was ranking in the listings. Now they have the tool that will track it in the listings. I don't think you can save the graphs but it's still there so you can see what you're doing. Hopefully I'll be able to show you an Etsy rank. And then popular again we have to upgrade but it's targets by targets buyers with what's working um, so it tells you the most popular tags from Etsy's trending so overall this is a nice website it looks nice and bright easily laid out it's loading super quickly but that's about all I can say it's a good advert for its for you seeing what you're gonna get but it's not giving us much to actually see what we think of so guys um if you let me know in the chat firstly let me know the streams still working okay i'm not insanely talking to myself again if you let me know if you've ever used marmalade what you think about it if you're used it as a free user or you've paid the subscription or if you've never seen it before what you think of that if that could be something helpful for you you think like i say this is pretty much a first look for me i'm just having a quick look because people reckoned it would be kind of kind of cool to to see what this this was like let's get my ugly mug back up again so people just seeing whether it would be useful or not whether they thought it would be useful to have something like this so just let me know whether you've used it, what you think of it. Um, at the minute, I'm reasonably impressed with it as a website. Um, it looks like it's going to have some useful features. I know about a month ago they were talking about this, these new fab features that they were getting hold of. And I think this is going to be these actual user search figures. That's what they must have got from Etsy, the other sites. Um, I don't believe Etsy Rank physically has that yet, but we'll come on to it. Um, River City Creative has never used Marmalade and Magdalena is still here. Thank you guys for, for letting me know. Yeah, I think Marmalade's like really popular with a lot of people. I hear about it all the time, but for some reason I've never actually really spoke to anyone that uses it. It's just on forums people will go, use Marmalade. Okay, and let's pop over to Etsy Rank. Now, this, this tool I've been using for quite a number of years, and this again is the free version of it. I will be upgrading myself to see what else we get in there, um, but at, at the minute there is so many features. I would say comparing the two, there's no comparison. Marmalade you cannot really use as a free user. You're going to have to subscribe to it to get any use out of it. Etsy rank, you absolutely get a whole load of features. And what they're doing as well, um, when they're 
bringing in new features, they're throwing them in, you can get to use them for a day or two. So it's changing all the time. What you see here is completely different kind of all the time, which is awesome. Um, so let's have a look, just a quick look round about what's different here, because it does look slightly different than when I looked at it. I think it was about a year ago I looked at I looked at an in-depth look on Etsy Rank. Such an absolutely cool website, I have to say. So here we are on the dashboard. Exactly like Marmalade, you have to log in and link, link your shop. But once you are, it's an awesome place to be. Um, they have some news at the side, which is handy to know what they're working on. And it tells you, as you can see here, they're adding things for pro members only, or if there's you know any changes they've made to the site so on the main on your dashboard your first your first things here a little bit of your listings which is pretty cool straight away tells you your number of sales feedback score which I'm not exactly sure what that means let's just click on that um, right got you that's like duh of course that's how good your feedback is from from buyers so 100% good feedback basically and that is really important in you are ranked partially based on how good the experience is to shoppers so you want to give a good shopper experience um, then we have the number of active listings I will excuse me in the next couple of weeks I'm going to be explaining why this number is so low I usually have up over about 300 listings in my shop but I did a big boo-boo I'll confess to this all properly later um, spelling issues <laughs> I am possibly a little dyslexic so I do mess up on spelling so this is really cool you can click on that and it tells you where you're messing up your spelling obviously sometimes you're gonna have like Ben McFuzzy Lugs, if I use my name anywhere in the listing, it's going to say that's a spelling issue because it's not a real word. So sometimes you certainly used to be able to tell it that here, if you click on it, as you can see, <laughs> dog sculpture, I've spelt it wrong. So you've got the option, if you've got a word wrong, you can get on Etsy and change it, or you can tell it to ignore it. Um, but yeah, I really do have to work on some of them. That's terrible slips that I really should get on top of. Missing tags. Again, this is going to bring up your listings that don't have the full complement of tags that you can use. So really handy. It's telling you I've got nine listings that I haven't optimized as well as I should. So I've got to get onto that. Missing images. I think this one's suggesting that you still need to just have your four or five images. We don't need to have all ten now that Etsy's changed so that you can have ten. Um, ten is good, but I mean there's some things that you literally you cannot there's no point to having 10 list 10 images for on your listing so four or five images is good enough missing attributes what is that um, distinct characteristics I'm not entire I'll have to look into that I think that's um where where you've put it like is it dog lovers great gift things like that i think so spotted on each seat oh, now today today we've finished the mango diet cake today i am on cherry pep pepsi max much nicer i'm not buying that mango stuff again so spotted on each seat this is like your track thing and this is awesome Okay, that's not the page I thought it would take me to, but it's showing where it's seen you, where it's spotted you in the Etsy search without you telling it what titles and that you're looking for. It's saying here you're actually showing up on these things. So if I click on that page, it's really absolutely cool. It's saying this listing is showing up under custom dog drawing on page one. That's fantastic. Um, so it's telling you where you're you're hitting some really high good some of your listings are doing really well so it's good to have an, some here it's good to have some showing up on spotted on Etsy and your estimated inventory value nearly seven thousand pounds that would be lovely but obviously because a lot of my listings are for custom listings it doesn't mean I have six thousand pounds worth of items sitting about um, 
and is the website mobile friendly and its usability uh, so saying if we upgraded to Etsy rank pro we could get access to the advanced keyword tool competitor sales track and enhanced tag report so there's more uh, River City no this is the free version of Etsy rank I will be using I will sign up for a subscription at a later date when I've got time to really look into it but this is this is all what you get for free this is just what anyone can get um, I've never paid them yet I really I really have to at some time so that's saying what we get when we use Etsy rank pro you can get a few extra features and I love this as well because it also links to your social media um, telling I've got 3,500 hearts on Etsy um, for some reason the Facebook and Instagram stats aren't working just now obviously how that's been fed to the site has changed but they're working on that usually it tells you in your Facebook business page how many followers you have and again Instagram followers Pinterest followers oh no I've lost one <laughs> I really have to work more on Pinterest but well 4600 Pinterest followers is not bad at all considering how much I work on that and again one and a half thousand Pinterest followers it's great to be able to see it all here also we've got down the side some great stuff adverts helps keep the site running so <laughs> it's good to see them there they're not actually too much in the way uh, the shops that made the most sales it's fantastic to be able to see that um, Eatsy reach I think this is the number of people online that are finding Eatsy so it's pretty cool it says pretty steady in fact I can click on that the percentage of internet users who visit Eatsy which is pretty cool I mean I mean it's not even half a percent but the internet is a huge thing so you can compare the reach that's for if anyone is saying how they think Eatsy's dying it really isn't it's playing nice nice and level um, excellent says there's more info here so let's have some look at more info and we can compare it to other sites like Amazon eBay and the thing to remember with a lot of these other sites right where does Eats Eats is the purple line uh, although you can say that Amazon is so huge and Eats and eBay is so huge actually Amazon and eBay their reach what people are finding them for Etsy is the biggest in terms of handmade sellers. eBay and Amazon are selling lots of other things. If you think of what you go to eBay for, it's more than likely cheap ready-made stuff rather than actual, you know, handmade stuff. Most people don't tend to go to eBay for handmade stuff. Sorry if you can hear the dog scratching there. He's sitting on a bit of bubble wrap and having a good scratch. So there's popping and scratching noises. I don't know where he got the bubble wrap from. Anyway, so that's the main page. That's what you get there. Click on shop and it gives you a whole drop down of all the things in your shop. So listing summary. This is loading up really quickly today. I was thinking usually I have to sit and wait for a little while for it does things. Um, so your average search engine optimization grade. I'm actually super happy with that. I was at a C and I worked really hard to bump that up a bit. So my next challenge to myself, I want to get that up to an A. And that's just their score. Having an A here, and I believe that Marmalade ranks you as well. Having an A doesn't mean you're going to sell. It means you're using the best practices for the titles and tags that you're using. But they might not be very searchable. They might be too competitive that you can't rank for them your item might suck a little bit so an A doesn't mean you're going to sell it means the SEO practices are as good for the terms that you're using but this this is only only a computer program it can only spit out results based on what what we're telling it and uh, my active listings as we said horribly low uh, total views 91 thousand that's pretty awesome 26,000 hearts number of items in my invent in 
inventory which is different from my active listings because if you have a listing that you can make more than one of for example my digital stamps I don't have that as a physical item it's a digital item so when someone buys it it can renew itself so for a, one listing of that I have five in it so if someone sells if if someone buys it then there's four it just renews itself uh, the value that six nearly seven thousand pounds that would be so nice missing tags I've got 555 unique tags which is pretty cool but it also tells me I really have to look at these tags and figure out which ones are working uh, average price of my listings and how many have missing images so things to work on uh, best sellers is just a pro feature by the looks of it um, but it's pretty cool telling you the pro probability of things selling and what your your items are best sellers um, grades I love this kind of similar to what we're looking at on Marmalade um, it's your rank ranks your listings it gives them a score you get you get marked um, mine are all a little bit lower than they should be uh, yeah that's because just the order they've come up in um, so obviously you're looking to get A's and what you can do you can click on any of your listings get find out why they've got the low grade as you can see I've clicked on this fella he had a C and we're looking down and the problem with him is completely everything else is good and green but I don't have enough tags so that's an easy fix I can just go into that change that quickly get it up to an A uh, how can I tell if a tag is working or not really good question um, the first and most important thing is if it, it, it's where it, where it ranks basically if you have a tag and you're nowhere near um, where are we looking for keyword tool yeah so for instance no that's not the that's not the one I want oh, for goodness sake see when I try and find things quickly tools rank checker here we go so I quite often use the tag needle felted dog um, so I'm saying that's the tag I'm using there my shop name obviously and I'm in the UK so we'll say shop location United Kingdom so this is a tag that I use that I've that I try and rank for it is definitely loading so to tell if it's working or not first of all I'm searching this and it's looking for my items so we've seen that not want to scroll now what's happened there oh there we go kind of froze up but anyway we can see for a needle felted dog that tag I have two items on page one I've got a bit of lag <clears throat> lag in my voice as well wonderful so I've got two items on page one um, an item on page two an item on page three so it's working in that I'm ranking for this item so then what I would then want to do is I can just do that just now pop over to Etsy and if I go into my shop manager and look at the stats we can look at what what search terms have been driving traffic to my shop and I see needle felted dog is in here so I'm ranking for a needle felted dog and when people search for a needle felted dog they're clicking on it so it's driving traffic to my shop under under that tag so if I'm driving traffic and I'm ranking for it then it's working if I was on the front page for a term and I'm not driving any traffic from it then it's not working because then you would look into is it relevant um, you know if for some reason the item that was on page one was a horse and people were searching for needle felted dog I might briefly be able to get onto the front page for that but people might not necessarily click on it because it's not relevant to what they're searching for or 
if my pictures were ugly, then you know people might not be clicking on it. So the tags, the tags working if it's findable and being clicked on. That's just how how I look at it. I hope that makes sense. Um, what have we got? Oh, tag report. I say every time. The great thing about this is every time I come on Etsy Rank, pretty much they've got something new there to look at. So I every time it looks like I've never even used it. Going, oh, what's this thing? Um, so this gives us an idea of of the tags that we've got in our shop of what we've got. So I mentioned needle felted dog. I use it seventy one times in my shop, so it is something I use quite a lot of. And the competition, it's a medium competition tag. So for my shop at the size that is, we've been able to see that I can rank for medium competition terms. So it's a good one to use. Um, I also, Ben McFuzzy Lugs, the name of my shop. You don't actually need to tag your own shop. Um, I just have some historical items that have that. It doesn't hurt. It might help you show up in Google and stuff if people get to know the name of your shop, if you become famous for the name of your shop. Um, dog sculpture, I've been trying to start ranking for that, so I've got it in 50 different tags, 50 different items have dog sculpture, because that's very relevant as well. I make dog sculptures. Um, but we can see, whoops, uh, we can see for that it's a high competition, so it's going to be a bit harder to rank for. And the same, needle felted is a very high competition. So this is pretty cool. It shows me the tags I'm using in my shop at a glance. Are they high or very high competition? You know, are they worth aiming for? And if you're just a small shop and you're starting out, you want to be looking to be aiming for some fairly low and medium competition keywords. Always throw in some high words just in case. You might get lucky with that. But you're looking for things that you can compete for. Um, ratings is a pro user. Oh, that's cool. Is it in danger of using its losing its five star rating? We already looked there. Uh, listing audit. Uh, so yeah, similar to the ranking, I can click on any of these and get an audit of my listing, which is really quite. Th this is such a handy thing because at a glance you can look and see see everything there. How am I doing? What do I need to do to improve it? I really really love this. This is one of my yeah, one of my high, fairly high ranking items. It sells quite a lot of. So it's telling us I can obviously work on that. I've only got a C for that. Um, oh no, this isn't the one. I've got two very similar listings. So I've only had three C's for three sales for that. But it tells you how many hearts and views, your average daily views, visibility scores, interesting. It's a measure of how well your daily views compare to other listings of other Etsy shops. So it's pretty cool. I mean, this isn't one of my most high ranking ones. So 44% sounds good to me. But it tells you at a glance how you're doing with your tags, similar to what we looked at in the Marmalade. Um, obviously I'm aiming for bookmark as a tag here because for me I found bookmark is an awesome tag. I know it's not very specific but when I can get on the first page for bookmark I sell really well so that's pretty cool. So it is very high competition um, but I've I've used it in my title, at the start of the title, it's used in my description and at the start of my description. So I'm doing my best to optimize for it. Things like Ben McFuzzy Lugs, it's not in my title or my description because it's a very low competition. I don't need to have it anywhere else except for in my tags because if someone else is using my name, I'm going to be pretty cross about them. Um, and. VIP, I really like this because it's telling us it's something that I've got a good chance of kind of ranking for. I've optimized for it really well. 
it's a high, not a very high competition term. It's very relevant to what I've, I'm making. So it's saying, yeah, I'm doing a good job there. And you get a high ranking for your listing. If You can't have everything optimized. You can't have every term. But having a few with all green ticks gets you really good. And we also have, this is pretty cool as well, we can get over to Google Trends to see how a search term has been showing up over time. So the term bookmark was searched for quite a lot in 2004 and it's been dropping over time which is pretty sad. That I hope that doesn't mean that people are reading less but I think it does. Not, not real physical books. Uh, compare listings. What's this? Yep, so you can go in and copy and paste your listing IDs and see how they compare. So if you don't already know, when you're taking a listing ID, I have to get into my shop and just randomly grab some. What it means by that, let's try this little guy. What it means by that is you want to grab this number in the URL, if everyone can see that. You want to grab and, oh, wrong button. I'm going to grab and copy that and bung the listing ID in there. And let's just try another one. This wee horse for no reason whatsoever. Pick up his ID. Oops. And what else should we try? These little dogs. So you can pop in the ID of your items and hit compare and let's see what happens here. So this pulls up the three items that you've chose and it's pretty cool that it gets a chance to see them all next to each other so you see how they're doing. So for example, this little guy has a higher visibility score. He's seen better than the other two items. You might recognize this guy on the left. He's my love a loser for the month. Um, so yeah, it tells you all sorts of interesting features right next to each other so you can compare what they're looking like, when they were made, what all the tags are, and the colors for how good optimized they are and everything which is pretty cool so it's telling me I've done I've done well with my horse but not so good with the, <laughs> with the other ones but yeah handy little feature just to compare different things because if you've got two similar listings you might look and say I think that one's doing well and the other one's not so I wonder why uh, profile and this is handy just saying have you got everything that you've done? It's really, that was such bad English. I hope you know what I mean. But this is a really cool place to get you to the points of like your about page, everything that you need to have in in your shop, the policies and everything, because all this actually really helps in your ranking as well. You want to make sure you've got all of the stuff in your shop filled out, your about page, your, your shop title, your announcements, a story, you've got all this done. And the fantastic thing here on Etsy Rank is you can just click the edit button and it will take you to that page on your shop that you need to sort out. And again, we've got all your all your places around the web as well. Are they, are they linked to? How are they doing? Um, because it's good for people, it's really important for people to be able to find you elsewhere as well. Hopefully it won't happen, but Etsy could shut down tomorrow. And if that's the only place you've been interacting with your customers, then nobody knows where to find you. But if they've been able to, you know, if they like you, then they could have been following you on Facebook, checking out your blog checking you out on on Pinterest and this just means that you're not just relying on Etsy your fans can start your your customers can find you in other places as well so it's good to have that and also people like to poke around you know if if someone likes being on Pinterest they might like to follow you they they like your items they want to see what you're doing next 
and here are your policies make sure that's all filled in like I say you can click on the edit button to get taken directly to that shop which is awesome um, top sellers is just what it said looking at the shops that are doing the best the ones that have sold the most yesterday and have sold the most over time and what you can do is you can click on any of them and it just gives you an idea of what what people are doing well at. I mean the top seller is Bohemian, Bohemian Findings so that kind of tells me it's likely to be a jewellery supply shop so they can make tons of sales because you know they can carry a big range of stock they're not necessarily making things um, but you can also look in perhaps your own category so if we looked in art and collectibles that's a little bit different what's the top sellers on art and collectibles and the numbers are quite a bit different okay 120,000 sales is amazing but it's not quite such huge amounts and it even tells you where the people are from the other thing can we do it here yeah the other thing you can do is pop in your own shop name which I love this just make you feel a bit better about yourself <laughs> is that still searching yeah so when you put in your name into the top sellers bit it tells you the bit about yourself um, total number of sales your total sales rank and in the area you're in so I'm in the UK so I'm in the top 5,000 sellers in the UK and this bit just blew me away when I found it for the first time it's telling you my shop has sold more items than 93% so I'm in the top 7% and that's not a brag because I really didn't think I would be anywhere near it but it's really quite cool to see that it tell you know you're doing better than you think on any social media we only see the really big ones the people who are selling a thousand items in the day but most of us are just plodding along at a nice level of sales not a crazy level of sales so it gives you a little bit about your shop again um, okay competition is a pro feature let's see what it says about this this is this is a new one for me get real-time competitor sales update and benchmark your sales performance against your peers use the competitor sales tool to see how many sales your competitors have had for each day over the last week that's kind of cool if there's a shop that you've been kind of comparing yourself to and you want to see how you're doing just like they say comparison is the thief of joy if you're if you're watching not to not to judge yourself harshly against them but just to see you know it might be a fact that if you're having a bad time and you look and maybe they're having a dip as well it might be the time of the year uh, social again is a pro feature let's see what that's about did I actually click on that and it's being slow Uh, it doesn't seem to be opening but it's a pro feature as well um, tools is the bit that I use the most but there's a couple of couple of extra ones here a bulk keyword tool a super fast way to do your keyword research um, get immediate so this is another keyword generator type thing by the looks of it which sounds good and bulk keyword rank checker a uh, rank checker which we already looked at so so useful to see like I said if your tags are working if what you often find when people say that their sales have dropped their shops died what's happened is a keyword that used to be ranking for them is now suddenly not ranking anymore so it's important to be able to look at your keyword and say I used to be getting traffic for this term have a quick check and go oh now I'm on page 25 and nobody's going to search to page 25 so it gives you an idea of where you are and it's also pretty immediate that you can go on to Etsy make some changes to that you know stick it up on Pinterest drive a bit of traffic towards it 10 minutes later come back here and find out if your ranks changed if you've actually improved things so it's so useful to see that to to see how you're doing over time so seriously we used to have to 
um, for a while before this existed you used to pretty much have to go and search through all the pages yourself trying to find yourself now they go and find you for you um, the monitor button this is pretty cool at it's where we said the spot the spotted on Etsy this is tracking your keywords over time just over a couple of days um, but it's just seeing where your keywords are so interesting so if I hover over this this one here is saying um, digital dog portrait found on page one um, on that date and if you look you can see if it's holding at the same level or if and this is really interesting for one day this dropped <laughs> it dropped all the way to page two it looks so much more dramatic but yeah it was on page one it dropped to page two could have been any number of reasons for that um etsy testing something or another shop did really well uh, no idea why i wasn't working on this to get it to go back up again it just went back up again but it's pretty awesome that you get to see are your listings listings on page two page one and it tells you what term it is that's potting that's popping up on that page which is really cool and you can set up a search term that you want to check so I was looking for Yorkshire Terrier um, because that was the little dog that I was on the love a loser um, I've not done anything to him for the past week so I'm not ranking for Yorkshire Terrier in the first couple of pages just now but I think you can if you're pro, if you're on the free you can track one keyword term if you're pro you can track a lot of keyword terms but I don't think you even need to because it's telling you the ones that are in the first couple of pages the ones that are spotted so that's just really pretty cool anyway you get to see see your results so very cool to see uh, spell checker yep telling you the ones that are spelt wrong keyword tool so we can put in a keyword oh let's Yorkshire Terrier because I was already talking about that this is the bit takes a wee while because it's going through so many results when you're searching for these kind of things so you've thought of a keyword when you're making a list and you've thought of a keyword so you pop it into here and this is really awesome because it tells you straight away this keyword is a medium competition keyword there's a fair number of other listings on Etsy with this term but it's not a massive amount so it might be a good keyword to try for um, in this case it's nearly 8,000 listings so that's telling you what you're competing against if you went for that demand is telling you now I believe this still is I'll check yeah so this is telling you it's using stats from various search engines it doesn't have the data from Etsy so it's just in the World Wide Web as a total people search for the term Yorkshire Terrier quite a lot and then engagement this is really cool this is from Etsy it's if people have searched for Yorkshire Terrier how likely are they to just buy something there rather than just randomly searching clicking onto other pages and stuff but it's highly likely that a person searching for Yorkshire Terrier will purchase will interact with a listing not necessarily yours but it means you want you want a keyword you want something that's reasonably high demand and you really want something that's high engagement and the holy grail would be something that's that's low competition but that's not going to happen so it's a balancing act you know maybe where you go for things that are lower competition they might have lower engagement but if you can get on the front page for that you still have a better chance of getting found and we have here as well a nice little word cloud which is really handy to see what are other tags if Yorkshire Terrier is being used as a tag what are other things that might be being used as well that might give you ideas for other terms I'm trying to get through this um, color thesaurus that's interesting anyway um, find similar colors and alternative names to use in your listing okay that's kind of cool so let's 
let's click on this random orange color. So it gives you the, the code for the colors, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that is quite interesting. It gives you different names, different shades of, of the same color with different different names for it that people might might use. The problem with colors obviously is every monitor is a wee bit different. So people people searching for one thing might might not might not be looking at the same the same colour. They might be thinking of something different. I'm just wondering, do you have to put the code in or if if I put what Yeah, so if you start typing in the name, it finds it will find the color. So that could be handy. Um, I've I know my mum with her knitting shop has had people ask for if they can if she can make a jumper in this kind of color or something, and she had no idea what it is. So you could type in and find out what the actual color is. That's a pretty good tool. That's that's new for me. Um. Yeah, I think that'll do us for a wee look around Etsy rank. I hope that you guys can see, should I stick my ugly mug up again? I hope that you guys can see that, let's let's face it, I spent about five minutes on Marmalade and I was trying to do it justice and we've been the whole rest of the time on Etsy rank. In my opinion, if you're looking for a free tool, you're not going to be beating Etsy rank here. Marmalade is just giving you an idea of what it might give for you, but Etsy rank, the free version, is a very, very usable to tool. It's so helpful for everything you're going to need for keyword research. It's helpful to be able to optimize your listings that are already up just being able to find ones that have mistakes in them and just get in and fix them out so so quickly um you know just one quick click of a button takes you to your item you're able to edit it i just i can't recommend etsy rank enough not sponsored not totally not sponsored at all but i love it as a as a tool um boo <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'll call, I'm gonna call you Boo because I like Boo. That's been so helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, thanks. I'm, I'm actually really blown away that anybody <laughs> joined us today. Like I say, this was just a spur of the moment thing. I thought I was gonna, I was gonna do this video, and I thought about doing all the flashy edits and everything. But really, it's just looking through the tool, seeing what it looks like, and I thought it might just work better as a live. Um, so I'm really blown away that any of you actually turned up so I totally appreciate that um glad if it's of some some help to you all uh, just a little bit different like I say it's like any kind of it's an experiment to see if if this kind of information is better for you guys in a live stream where you can hopefully ask questions and go, you know, what is it you're talking about here rather than me rambling on. So really appreciated you all joining me. I hope that you hope you've all had a good day. Um, it have been some really great questions coming in over the past week and I've got some so such great ideas for videos so the next couple of weeks another reason I wanted to do this video to give me time for the next couple of weeks ones I've got this photography one I've been talking about um, how to get really good photography for your items that video is coming up but I want to get I want to get that filmed really nicely so it's as understandable as possible and also I got suggestions asking about tax tax returns how to book keep for your Etsy shop so I'm going to do a little bit about that obviously I'm not an expert I keep my own books for myself so I want to do a video on that as soon as possible as well so they're coming up but guys thank you so much for joining me um you guys have a great day and I'll see you I'll have my videos on Wednesday and Thursday and I'll hopefully see you again live on Saturday thank you so much